And moving to, to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where there is a warlike situation brewing. Over 200 armed groups are active in the country's eastern region, and among these, the M23 rebellion poses the biggest threat. Millions have been displaced in the Central African nation. Our next report explains why the Democratic Republic of Congo is reaching its breaking point. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is facing a security crisis again. War is knocking on the door. DR Congo's eastern region is at its breaking point. Once a city of promise, Goma has been turned into a battle zone. The M23 rebels have intensified their attacks this year. And the Congolese army is finding it hard to beat back the militants. M23 continues to make significant advances and expansion of its territory to unprecedented levels. This has culminated in an even more disastrous humanitarian situation with internal displacement reaching unparalleled numbers. The fiercest battles between the Congolese army and the M23 rebels are underway in the North Kivu province. The fighting is just 20 kilometers from regional economic hub, Goma. M23 rebels often launch their attacks around Goma and then retreat into Rwanda. The armed M23 group wants to claim control over the eastern DR Congo. That's because the region has rich deposits of gold and diamonds. There are also large concentrations of tin, copper and cobalt. All of these are essential materials for making batteries. But the greed for minerals has crippled eastern DR Congo. More than 7 million people have been displaced and hundreds of thousands face a hunger and humanitarian crisis. I fled the attacks from Saki while bombs and gunshots resounded. I was with my six children. Since we arrived here, we haven't received any assistance and we are hungry. We do not know what to do. I cannot return to Kichanga because of the ongoing conflict. I am safe here. If the situation returns to normal, I will be grateful to God. The eastern region of DR Congo has seen violence for the last three decades. At least 200 armed groups are active, but M23 poses the biggest threat. The government in DR Congo repeatedly accuses Rwanda of supporting and aiding the M23 rebellion. Rwanda, however, denies all allegations, calling it the DR Congo's internal problem. As M23 continues to spread violence, the international community has raised an alarm regarding the Central African nation. More than 71 million people are internally displaced in Eastern DRC, an increase of 800,000 since my last briefing some three months ago. 23.4 million people are food insecure, which means that one in four Congolese faces hunger and malnutrition. The United Nations peacekeeping force is set to pull out from the DR Congo by the end of this year. The first withdrawal of troops have already begun. And with the M23 advancing, the Congolese army will have to get their act together or risk sending the DR Congo into violent chaos.